Good morning friends and welcome back to another vlog. If you're wondering what we're doing today and if you're wondering why you saw the Disney sign at the start of this vlog, it's because we're working from Disney today. I am so excited. To me and I planned this out a couple days ago and I think we're going to do something really fun where we start at a hotel today and then end up at one of the parks and we're going to try to find a place to work from home from Disney inside of Magic Kingdom later today um, or Epcot maybe. We'll see where we end up. But I'm super excited. We're headed over there now. I am kind of running a little late. It is already 7.54. Um, thankfully, I live like five minutes from Disney. But Tamia's already on her way. And yeah, I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, we've made it to the Magic Kingdom Transportation and Ticket Center. If you're ever working from any Disney location, the easiest way to do this is to park at one of the parks or if you're coming later in the day, park at Disney Springs and then just take either a monorail or a bus over to your location. So I think we're going to start off with the Grand Floridian. We're going to check to see if we can find like some coffee there, a place to sit. If not, Polly is our backup, but we're here and we're going to try it out. We've got Tamiya now. Hi! <laughs> um, and yeah, I love this hotel so much. Look how pretty she is. All right, so this was a nice little pit stop, but Tamiya thought there was a little coffee shop up here that we could grab coffee from and then like find a spot to sit. Um, but there is not. So I think we're gonna go over to Polly because they have the Kona Cafe there that does have a um, walk-up piece to it. So we're gonna go there and try to find a place at Polly. The only thing that's annoying about it is that we have to go through security again to get back on the monorail. And if you have laptops and all that stuff, they stop you every single time to search. So yeah. <laughs> All right, we have made it to Polly and Kona is what we're looking for. So they have a little quick service here. So we're going to grab some coffee, some food for the morning, probably, and then find a place to sit and work from. We have some kind of pastries here. I'm thinking I'm either going to get a croissant or maybe one of these, like pineapple Danish, because that looks really good. And then as far as coffees, they've got like all the basics. So they do like lattes, cappuccinos, um, we do also have beverages with alcohol, so maybe when we're done working, we'll, we'll come back here. All right, we have found a spot to sit. I got an iced caramel latte, and honestly, a little bit scared about this because I've not had coffee in months, at least. Um, so I'm a little bit afraid that I'm going to be jumping up and down the walls. Tumia also forgot to get uh, oat milk in her coffee, so she's going to be having an issue. And then I also just got their guava danish. Um, for breakfast, so we found a little spot here upstairs near Kona Cafe and near where the monorail is. I'm gonna set up my laptop and then we're gonna start working for the day. just to add to the chaos now we are in the contemporary resort now because we found a super last minute reservation for lunch at steakhouse 71 um for 12 15 but tamia has a meeting literally right now so we ran over here she's already down there like joining her meeting and this um lunch reservation is right between her meeting and my meeting that is at like 1 30 so running over here she like just found a spot to sit um and she's gonna have a call and then we're gonna go to lunch at steakhouse 71. I will also say the reason why we panic ran over here and had less time is because we had to go through security one more time coming out of Polly and they always stop us for our laptops and our cameras. Um, so that took up extra time and we weren't able to get into like the monorail that was waiting there. So next time when we hop over to whatever our next spot is, we're going to try and take out our laptops and see if they'll still stop us. Um, but yeah, just a little, a little chaotic. We found a little spot here just in the lobby that has chargers if you're looking for a place to work from contemporary. To 
Mia just finished her meeting, so now we are going to lunch at Steakhouse 71. We came here um, a couple weeks ago, but just to the lounge. I've never gone into the actual restaurant, so I'm really excited to try it out because the lounge food was amazing. We just sat down, and the menu for lunch looks so, so good. We were looking at this earlier, and I'm thinking we're gonna do either the prime rib sandwich the grilled chicken sandwich or this gourmet grilled cheese because look at how good it looks with like the shredded pork belly and the caramelized onion jam Ugh, everything looks so good they also do have a drink menu if you're interested but obviously we are in the middle of our work day so we are not going to be doing this today but they do have it if you want it last time we came here to the lounge we did the 1971 sunset and that was delicious it's like a giant fish bowl that you definitely need four people for but if you're coming highly highly recommend um, and we may also do an appetizer but not sure which one just yet all right I told you guys we were doing an appetizer and we got this bread it's a potato brioche bread with a tomato spread on it and like sea salt on top and just look how good this looks it's basically a muffin it is like that's such a good size all right put a little bit of the tomato on it let's try it Mm. It's like sweet a little bit. That is so good. Mm. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Our meals just got here. I ended up grabbing the prime rib sandwich, which has caramelized onions. It has an aioli in it. It looks amazing. Um, and then I also got it with a side of Caesar salad, but you can also get it with a pasta salad or french fries if you would like. And then you can see Tamia's over there. She got the stack burger, which we tried last time um, when we sat at the lounge. So if you want to see my review on that, that is over on TikTok. But we're just going to sit here and eat and enjoy our lunch. And then I'm going to be running to my meeting right after this. All right, I'm going to show you guys my first bite here. delicious so much flavor in this it's also like kind of refreshing in a way even though it's you know a hot sandwich but it's a great lunch option I think and the caramelized onions are so good they're like perfectly sweet but like not sweet so so good I would totally get this again that was a really quick lunch actually and we went right at 12 15 and there was I think like half the restaurant was empty, so they were really quick with bringing everything out. So really good time to go try Steakhouse 71 if you've been wanting to try it but don't want to go during like super busy, high traffic times. Um, but we're back in the lobby of the Contemporary because I have a meeting in about 20-ish minutes. And then I think after that one, we're going to try to find a spot inside the park to work from. We're officially leaving the Contemporary. There's a couple spots that we looked at on the map for Magic Kingdom that we think we can work from, so we're gonna go try those out. We have made it to Magic Kingdom. Now we just need to find some tables to sit in. There's usually some tables right here in between these two stores, so we're gonna check if um, they're open or if they're even still there. I haven't been here in a minute, so who knows. Um, if not, there's also a spot by Dumbo all the way in the back of the park that usually has some tables open. Um, so that'll be our, our next spot to check out if these ones don't work out. All right, tables are right here. So they're in between just some of these stores over on Main Street. Um, and it's pretty quiet back here. And it's nice because they have the umbrella, so we'll get some shade. All right, we are all set up with our laptops here. This is such a good spot to work from. A, it's quiet back here, but we're still like right by Main Street, so we have all the Main Street sounds coming to us. And I don't know what it is, but we are like smelling all of the confectionery smells. There has to be one of those pumps that like send out the smells from inside the stores, like right by us, because it just smells like the confectionery out here. So we're gonna sit out here work for the rest of the day and then who knows maybe we'll ride a ride or two later on we'll see but great spot to work from if you're looking to work from inside the park i don't know if you guys can hear that but the festival of fantasy parade is about to come by and it's gonna pass right here in front of us now those balloons just need to move so we can get a better view <laughs> Mickey Mouse Club song slaps. I know people always.
always complain because it's not the same as the old song. But the beat, the beat. Put me in, coach. You know what I wish we still had here, though? Is the electrical parade, the Main Street electrical yeah. parade. I miss her. All right, work is officially done. So we're gonna go and ride some rides because the park is dead right now. Um, usually this park closes at 11, but today it's closing at seven. I'm not sure if they're having some sort of like after hours events that someone like finds out the park for, but we think a ton of people have just either not come here or left early because it closes at seven. It's also a little gloomy outside, so I'm guessing people thought it was gonna rain. But that's good for us because everything has super, super short wait times. Um, Space Mountain is 35 minutes, Buzz is 20, uh, what else? Haunted Mansion is 30, Pirates is 5 minutes, Thunder Mountain is 20 minutes, so I think we're going to go ride them. I think we're starting off with Space Mountain because we've been sitting outside for a, a little bit and it is hot out here and at least in there we get some AC, so... Yeah, let's go ride some rides to end our work week. And of course, here's your mandatory view of the castle. Isn't she beautiful? There she is. I think the wait still says 35 minutes from what I can see from here. With everything so short, I think we might also try to see how many rides we can ride within like the next hour or two because why not, right? Look how empty this line is. When was the last time you came on Space Mountain and it was this empty in here? Literally barely anyone in here. I don't even know if this will truly be a full 35 minute wait because it really does not seem like it right now. Seriously, look at this. This is, we're basically there and this is where the line starts. So, really don't think this is gonna be a full 35 minutes. Tamia is timing it. So I'll let you guys know after the ride how long we actually waited. So we got to the front of Space Mountain and they just took everyone off the ride. So we don't know how long it'll be stopped for. I think they're moving us to the other side now. Um, our side is completely down. Oh, are they moving us to the other side? I think so. Because we weren't on the ride just yet, but they just took everyone who wasn't, who like had already a spot to go on the ride. Um, they just told us all to follow. I thought that they're following our dude up in the front. They're taking us because they're gonna give us maybe I'll take a fast pass too okay so they actually ended up giving us a lightning lane to either come back here or go on another ride we're gonna check if Tron is available on there if not I think our next stop would be seven dorms mine train because we never wait for it the wait times are always way too long for that ride um, I literally haven't gone on it in like seven years since it first opened so we're gonna check if that's available Oh, you know, we'll see. We'll go with the flow today. It's just a chaotic, chaotic day today. Okay, so we figured out that the lightning lane that they gave us doesn't work for Tron or Seven Dwarves, and you don't have to book it. We can just like go up to the ride that we want to ride and they'll let us in. So I think we're gonna try it for Space Mountain later when it comes back up. But we did snag a Tron lightning lane. We just paid for it today because I've never been on it and I'm never here on weekends because my pass doesn't allow me to be here on weekends. So gonna ride Tron for the first time. I'll let you guys know my thoughts because I've heard some mixed reactions on this ride, which is also why I've waited so long to ride it because I just like didn't really care for it. But I'll let you guys know if it's worth it. All right, we were just talking and Tamia just said that even with the virtual queue, Tron is not really worth it because you'll get the lightning lane, you wake up early at 7 a.m. to get it. It's not a lightning lane. Or not a lightning lane, the virtual queue. You wake up at 7 a.m. to join it. And sometimes you still have an hour long wait, even with that return time, so. And it's such a short ride, so it's not really worth it. So if you can buy the lightning lane for this one, that might be the better way to go. Okay, so I'm starting to believe we're bad luck because we just walked over to Tron and Tron is also currently down um, and they don't know when it'll come back up. So we don't know what happens to our lightning lane or the money that we paid for it. So we're gonna hang around, I guess, to find out. Um, but we're thinking something might have happened in either Tomorrowland or Parkwide because both of these rides are down, so. Or just bad luck, I guess. We decided to hop on the people mover while we wait for Tron or Space this Mountain. Is the TTA blue line. It's a gut back up. Um, we're hoping by the time we're on this, one of them is back up. But if not, we'll just go and ride something else. Um, but we were trying to stay 
stay within Tomorrowland for a bit, just in case. But at least up here we have Attention the breeze travelers. coming in. Your journey has seated. Thank you. <laughs> the Ooh, moment. Best way to see Tomorrowland. And my stars, is there ever lots to see? The moment I turned off the camera, our ride stopped. We are. I think we're the problem here. Okay, we're going back. I think this has to be like a large This has to be something. Okay, but at least this one's moving again. This one could have just been though someone with a wheelchair needing to get off. Or like needing to get I don't know. They don't slow it down. They don't? No. Never. But hopefully this one got back up quickly, so hopefully that means that there is a problem in Tomorrowland. And that they're gonna fix it. That they're fixing Maybe that's uh, Space Mountain and the other ones up really quickly. For your safety, if you have wings, We're going again though. Packs. We just got stopped again. And I don't know if you can see it, but they turned on the lights. Okay, we're moving again, but how is this happening to us right now? The lights are on in Space Mountain, guys. Ah. We're zooming past Space Mountain. There's going to be a window coming up that you guys, um, I'll show you guys, but all of the lights are on in this entire building. Here we go. Doesn't look like there is anyone on the track, so I don't think it was that something fell on the track that they had to get out. So it probably was some sort of technical malfunction. But if you've never seen Space Mountain when the lights on, that's what it looks like. So we decided to venture out of Tomorrowland to go to Big Thunder. Um, because Big Thunder said it was only a 15 minute wait, but it's starting to drizzle. So, if it continues to rain and they sense lightning in the area, that means they'll also shut down Big Thunder, which I'm really hoping does not happen to us because how is this our day? We were doing so good. We not really. So, it was a fun, chaotic vlog. It was a fun, chaotic vlog that we thought at least one ride was going to happen on. We can only take so much till it's too much. At this point, I don't know if any rides will happen. No, don't say that. Sorry. We're manifesting happen. good things. Super smooth. Pirates only has a 15 minute wait, so we came over here because there's AC in this one. You might not believe me when I say this, but we're stopped on Pirates. <laughs> As we're stopped here, Tamiya just checked, and Space Mountain is back up. Tron still has a wait, but we're saying that once we're done with Space Mountain, Tron will be back up. Back trying to ride Space Mountain. We did the lightning late in this time because we had the one from earlier. Um, it was only a 15 minute wait, but we have to use our lightning lane anyways and the park closes soon. But fingers crossed that Tron will be open when we get out and we'll get to ride that. Because if not, the park will be closed, sadly. So I think we'll have to go up to guest services and ask for a refund for the lightning lane that we paid for. You guys, we just got off Space Mountain, and what did I say? Tron no longer has the star that says it's down. It doesn't have a wait time, but it never does because it's a virtual queue. So we're gonna run over there now and hope that it's actually running again. We just saw a car go by, so it's definitely back up. Second time's the charm, baby. We've made it into the line. It's official, guys. Keep restraints securely fastened and supervise young Team Blue users at all times. Ooh. Literally the only ones in here. Do you also have free lockers in here because you're not allowed to bring like any big items on the ride. Um, 
but these are right before you go and load into the ride. Overall thoughts on Tron. If you're a girly whose eyes water on roller coasters, this is not for you because the second we shot out of there, my eyes were just straight tears. It was better than I expected this ride to be. Um, I was fully expecting this to be like a little 10 second long ride. It was longer than that. It was fun. The only thing is like, it's not a ride that I would wait a long time for. Um, it's not like Velocicoaster or Coaster or anything over at Universal that I would like wait and like you know spend a while before getting on it but I would go on it again if it ever has a short wait whenever they get rid of the virtual queue. We were about to walk out of the park but Buzz has a 10 minute wait so might as well go on it right wasn't even a 10 minute wait we literally just walked right onto buzz i absolutely suck to me as laser died and she still had 200 000 more points than i did <laughs> um i think that makes me yep <laughs> absolutely nothing ranger first class so so sad. The park is officially closed, so that is a wrap on our chaotic work from Disney Day. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, do all the things, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.